Good morning guys. I thought that I want to try something new. I want to do this reading every day where I am going to look closer at what is coming your way for the day that you watch it. It is the energy so obviously it can happen whenever it is a timeless reading. You are being guided to this reading at the perfect time. We are going to look closer into love, health and money. Remember to take what resonates, leave the rest, flip the roles. You can be female, you can be male. Let's start out with finding an energy card for today. So again, it is just the energy of the message, like the strongest message that wants to come out. So let's see, what is the energy for today? First of all, we have the book, so knowledge, study, we have the fox. Some of you guys might be having problems with someone from school, someone from work. You might feel that you are having a hard time learning something new we also have the mountains so it would make sense that some of you guys are having a hard time with studying something it can be having a hard time studying the spiritual it can be having the hard time getting your thoughts together because of the retrograde whatever it is that you are trying to get knowledge of it might be very hard for you and with the mountains, you really might feel that there is a heavy lesson around your day. Again, remember that you can watch this a week after this is posted and it's still going to resonate with you. The day that you see this is the day that you're supposed to see it. There might also be some secrets today. You might feel that someone is hiding something from you. You might be the one hiding something. Some of you guys might even be writing in your journals. You might be writing about the trouble or the person that you are that you feel that you have troubles with. There might be something hidden for some of you guys. And now that we do have the fox here, it might be something sneaky. It might be about a person. It might be a lesson now that we have the mountain. So there might be some red flags for some of you guys, but obviously we are going to look closer into the reading. Also, it's important that you use your intuition to really feel, like feel the cards, feel the room, feel the energy. What is it that the cards are trying to tell you? It is also like to teach you guys to be more aware of your intuition, but be aware of someone who might plan your fall but again you are protected no matter what it might be a part of one of your lessons i am also going to take uh, a card from the soul journey deck so let's see what is the soul lesson for you today But again, don't panic just because that we have the fox, because sometimes um, the fox is also there to protect you so that you can see the red flags. And it might really be a lesson for you now that the mountain is here. Let's see what is the soul lesson for today. What is the message or the card that wants to come out for today? We have doubt. Again, some of you guys might be doubt doubting your journey or you don't feel that you can connect with whatever it is that you want to connect with I release the need to know all the answers I mean the fox does look at the book so you might feel that there is some sneakiness with whatever it is that you want to have answers for you might want to have answers when it comes to a person in your life some of you guys might search for answers when it comes to the past so you guys might search for answers when it comes to your health so we are going to closer into health after you do need to 
love the awareness around you today. Your senses might be very sharp and it might really, it might make you a little bit confused because you don't understand why things are happening for you. So you might see a lot of things, a lot of good things as a doubting thing, like a worry, like a fear. It is important for you to understand that there is no right and no wrong in whatever is happening around you. Because there is a lesson in everything. I am going to put the cards um, away. Then we are going to look closer into love. But doubt might be something that's really um, strong for you today. When it comes to love, I am going to take the Romance Angels deck first. So let's take an energy card for you for today when it comes to love but we do still have all the energy cards so they are going to to play a big role in love health and money let's see what is the energy or the message we already have one wow we have the wedding card maybe some of you guys are doubting um a situation that involved marriage. Let's take the energy card. Now that this is general, it can be a third party situation. This can be someone that you are married to, that you maybe feel that your husband or your wife is sneaky. It might be that you have been involved with someone who is married. And you see it as a bigger lesson, you see it as a big, um, you doubt this, this situation a lot because the other person is married. Again, this can go a lot of ways now that it is general. But let's see what the tarot cards have to say. What is the message when it comes to love? First of all, two of swords. The four of pentacles reversed. Wow, the queen of cups. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the Three of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles, or the Nine of Cups, and the Three of Wands. We also have the Six of Wands. So, whatever it is that you are involved with when it comes to love, there will be something to celebrate. And it will be your dreams, desires. If you are waiting for someone to move in your direction, they are going to reach out to you. And now that this is the energy for today, it is going to happen within the next days. It is going to happen within the next three or six days. So there will be communication again. But let's take a deeper look at these cards. Obviously, this you can be involved with someone um, that you are going to be married to. That maybe the spirit wants you to know that it's a strong connection. You might really feel caught in the middle between you and someone else here. You might really be involved with a third party situation. Or you might be involved with someone who is not ready to move in your direction. You are really at a crossroad at the moment. There is a lot of decisions here. You might doubt the situation and it might make you feel that there is no future in this. But with the book, there is going to be a knowledge. Maybe the fox is the karmic. You might be a water sign or you might be dealing with a water sign. But I do feel that whoever you are dealing with, they are making decisions. They are shedding the old. They are letting go of people. They are letting go of the karmic because, again, the fox might be the karmic. And with these cards, they do see you as their wish fulfillment. They do see you as their wish. They are, again, going to communicate with you. It is going to be a victory, so you have nothing to doubt. You have nothing to fear. But there might be a lesson for both of you in this. Let's take a look at health. Battery died, so we are back. Let's look into health. 
for you. When it comes to health, you might really be doubting yourself. I just saw the base chakra, so I do feel that stability is something that makes you unstable in health also. Like you worry too much and when we are at a place in our life where we worry, our body reacts on it. So you do need to start seeing things as a blessing and a blessing. Let's see what can we get for you for health. So again, remember, it's just the strongest message that wants to come true. Wow, look at this. Healing begins. Now that it is swords, again, your doubt and your fear and worry is in your head. It's all mental. You also have the power to heal yourself. That might also be why it is that we have the book here. That you are going to learn something. You are going to receive some kind of knowledge that's going to help you heal yourself. Heal the doubt and the worry away. The energies around you now are really guiding you to let go. Really to work with your heart chakra. Um, let the, the green light come from your base chakra because again the base chakra is all about stability and it is something that you really do need to work on right now let's see what else we can get with the cards for you so what else do you need to know when it comes to health today wow page of cups we have justice, balance, and we have the six of pentacles reversed. Giving and receiving. You might be someone who is giving more. And again, if you are in unbalance, it is something that's making your body in unbalance. You are going to receive positive news when it comes to health. And I do feel that you guys, um, you are going to learn something new, something that's really going to heal you. Maybe you're going to receive some supplements, something that's going to really help you. I did talk a lot about the idolin drops that I'm taking that's really been freeing my mind from clutter. I am going to put a link up here so you guys can uh, learn about it. But with the book, some kind of knowledge or uh, good news are coming your way. If you are suffering from illness, um, you are going to receive good news soon. It can be in a form that um, test results are going to come back positive or in a positive way. I think that's the better way to say it. You will have a lot of clarity when it comes to your health. There will be new treatments for you, whatever it is that you have in your life. And with justice, it is going to bring you in balance. But with the Six of Pentacles, you do need to be careful with your thoughts and with your feelings. Because you do manifest very quickly. So again, if you get like a cure or if you get something, um, alternative medicine that's going to help you, whatever it is. Um, if it's like positive test results, like in a, you know, positive way, don't, don't doubt it. Because there is a reason for everything and everything is leading you into, you know, to healing. That is very important that you understand that for your health. Let's look into money, which can obviously also be career. So let's see what is the energy around money and career for you oh we have one oh orphanage you are really feeling um alone again you might even have someone at work who's picking at you someone who might be out stealing your work or your ideas i do feel there's a lot of communication problems when it comes to work and money there's also a message from spirit that you can be perfect to every everyone you might struggle with you want to be perfect or you want you want to be popular um it's important for you that you are clear about your mission and not the people around you 
because there might be some sneaky people around you and you might try to make it all good or you might try to to you might try to become this like popular person like you want people to you want to fit in i do feel that is the right way to uh, to say it you might try to fit in with the wrong people when it comes to work or career um it can also be a lifestyle that you you feel that you need to spend more or you do or you feel that you need to have expensive things around you which again is a miss what you call it misleading it's someone misleading you because it might be a lesson there is um new options for you when it comes to money and work let's see what else we can get for money and work first of all we have the wow ten of wands we have the emperor becoming your higher self the stronger you you are really going to if you have experience like um injustice at your workplace that is going to turn whoever is sneaky is going to be cut down with the fox i do really feel that the emperor might be someone from your work um it might be someone up higher maybe even a just ju ju judge for some of you guys who is going to help you get justice in something especially when it comes to someone stealing your ideas you do need to reduce the burdens around you when it comes to money and your career because you are thinking too much again you still have the doubt card so you are still doubting a lot of things that you know that's happening especially when it comes to new knowledge because there is going to come a lot of new knowledge for you today there might be a lot of pressure when it comes to work and money but you are going to find ways alter, alter, <laughs> alternative ways where you can alter them where you can um, reduce it again it's all about healing it's all about you feeling better again you do need to take time for yourself you do need to stop focusing too much on how other people see you we do have the three of pentacles we have the nine of cups reverse and the fool so again you are going to walk away from the fights you are going to walk away from other people's um, dreams and desires because you do need to walk after your dreams and desires i do feel a lot of you guys are walking in the direction of other people's dreams and desires like you try to fit in too much and you forget yourself there is a need for you to work together with the universe because the universe is trying to give you new knowledge the universe is trying to show you people who are sneaky the lessons there's a lot of lessons and you do really need to find yourself again be the fool walk in the direction of the new maybe you want to change career maybe you want to start your own business maybe you want to go traveling instead of working too much there is the energy of the new coming your way and that is going to be everything for today i really hope you guys could use today's message when it comes to love health and money let me know in the comment below and i will see you guys tomorrow bye